when you think about eating out on a carnivore diet, my guess is your mind instantly goes to thinking about like getting a steak somewhere. And while that's a fantastic option, it's actually one that I almost never utilize unless it's a special occasion, like an anniversary or birthday or something, or I'm traveling and maybe my job is paying for it. I probably never go out for steak only because it's more expensive. I could buy a better quality piece of meat from the grocery store and then probably cook it better myself at my house. I definitely still eat out. I travel a lot for my job. Sometimes it's just fun to go out. So never eating out is not an option for me, but I do have three pretty go-to options of types of restaurants that I look for when I'm going out. Today, I'm gonna to show you those three types of restaurants that I typically go for. I'm going to give you the pros and cons of each one, and then I will give you some tips on how you can get the most bang for your buck at those locations. No matter where I am eating out though, I always bring with me my security water bottle, and then I definitely always bring uh, my own electrolytes. Even if I'm going inside of a restaurant, I probably wouldn't bring my whole water bottle, but I would bring a packet of just some electrolytes that I could add to the water that's there, especially if I felt like I wanted something with a little flavor rather than asking for some lemons, um, which are typically like notoriously the dirtiest thing you can get in a restaurant. I'll just take like a flavored pack of Element and I will just sprinkle a little bit in my water just to give it a little flavor. I really just love the convenience of being able to like keep these in my purse and in my car all the time. Uh, Element is the electrolyte drink mix. It has a thousand milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium and 60 milligrams grams of magnesium. I typically drink one packet a day and then if I have a lot of activity going on or I was having some like restless leg syndrome the other night, I added a second packet and it totally knocked it out. I definitely can tell a difference in my overall hydration level and fatigue when I'm getting enough electrolytes in. I always keep a handful in the console just because you never know when you're going to want some extra electrolytes. If you want to get a free sample pack, Element is sponsoring this video and they have a deal for all my subscribers where you can go to drinkelement.com slash laurasbath and you get a free sample pack and you can try all eight of their flavors and figure out which one you like best. So thank you to Element for sponsoring this video. By far the easiest cheapest, quickest, and just like most flexible thing that you can eat out uh, on a carnivore diet is a burger patty. I'm in a drive through line right now and I'm gonna grab some burger patties on the go. You can go to basically any fast food restaurant and get um, plain burger patties by themselves with that are 100% beef, no oils that they're cooked in, no seasonings, mainly just salt. And most places will let you purchase them all cart so you're not paying for a whole meal or an entire burger just when you want the burger patties. Most fast food restaurants have quarter pound burger patties. I'm at In-N-Out right now uh, and their patties are two ounces so I typically get a few more. But no matter what fast food place you're at, you can get a full meal of burger patties for between five and ten dollars depending on how much you eat. Also, most sit-down restaurants are gonna have some kind of burger on the menu, uh, and you typically could get just the patties or two. That's my go-to option when I'm going out with a group of people and I'm trying to not be controlling about what restaurant we go to. I just wanna be really flexible and go with the flow. As long as there's a burger on the menu, I'll be good to go. A lot of those sit-down restaurants too will let you add bacon or even put an egg on top if they serve breakfast. When I'm getting burger patties in a restaurant, I typically ask them like, how many ounces are your patties and how much is that gonna cost me? I know I can eat about a pound of meat in one sitting, so if it's reasonable, I'll get enough patties to equal a pound. Um, sometimes though, if I'm in a restaurant and they're not being very flexible with patties a la carte, I'll just get enough to hold me over until I can find something else. In-N-Out though does have something on the menu called the Flying Dutchman, which is two patties and two pieces of cheese. I can't even believe I say this, but it's actually a lot of cheese. So I'll get two of those and then I'll just get some burger patties to put on top of it. And then I'll have like four patties and two pieces of cheese all stacked together. I actually usually end up getting some pickles here too because their burger is mixed with pickles. So good. I always feel bad talking about In-N-Out because it is regional, but if I had to pick a national chain, Wendy's is probably my favorite go-to patties. I just don't get Hi, cheese there. You? Hi. Uh, two flying guys with four meat patties inside of pickle. Yes. Uh, could be on just one side. Thank you. Let me know what your favorite burger patty place is. Good meat patties. And then here's a couple of Thank you so much. Mmm.
another type of restaurant that's a great option on a carnivore diet, but also the one you have to be the most cautious of is a barbecue restaurant. You can find a lot of barbecue places that only use salt and pepper or salt, pepper, garlic for their seasonings and don't have any sauces on them. But you also could find some barbecue restaurants that have a bunch of sugar and junk in the rub and also smother everything in a lot of sauces. It's one of those things that I would always recommend looking on their website or calling ahead just to make sure you're not getting trapped into eating a bunch of seasonings that are gonna disagree with you or accidentally having a bunch of sugar sauces and having this plate full of meat that's full of sugar that you've just wasted your money on. I have eaten barbecue all over the country and I have never had an issue finding some place that has a no low sugar rub and then no sauce on it whatsoever. I do tend to eat a lot less volume when I'm eating at a barbecue restaurant, mainly because it is such a strong flavor. And if I was to sit there and eat a pound of brisket, it would be really strong flavor. And also a pound of brisket and all that fat likely would upset my stomach. So I tend to get a little brisket, a little pulled pork. I love a good smoked turkey if they have it. So I'd like a little bit of a few different things just to give me some variety. And that's actually gonna be a lot more affordable because a pound of brisket is gonna be pretty expensive. I am currently at Caldwell's Barbecue here in Arizona and I already know that they only season their meat with salt, pepper, and garlic and they don't use any sauces on them. Everything comes on the side, so I'll be good to go. Thank you. To go. That's fine. A little pile of each is good. I skipped all of the sides and the sauces and the bread and just got the meat. A lot of places do have a mustard-based sauce, which is lower carb, but I just typically don't use any sauce at all. A lot of barbecue places sell their own rubs or sauces in store, but this place actually has homemade tallow that they sell, as well as some like pecan smoked salt, which I bet is incredible. This is way more food than I could eat. So Chris and I will split this for dinner. Also, when I'm traveling for work, I love getting barbecue because it reheats really well. And so I could eat half of this for one meal and then actually take the rest to work and reheat it at the office the next day. We have to at least taste it a little bit. Mm. So good. And the last type of restaurant that I frequent when I'm looking to eat out on a carnivore diet is a wing restaurant. For some reason, wings make me feel like I'm cheating. Maybe it's because I'm not sitting there eating with a knife and a fork and I get to eat with my hands, but if I'm ever feeling in a rut or if I'm just like really craving some kind of fried food, traditional wings is always my go-to. Typically, traditional wings are not breaded, so when you get them with no sauce, they're gonna be zero carbs. The one thing you have to look out for with wings is that most places are gonna cook their wings in some kind of trashy oil, and that could maybe make you not feel so great or cause some people a reaction. Buffalo Wild Wings, though, cooks their traditional wings in beef tallow, and so if you get the wings plain with just salt, it is 100% perfectly clean carnivore. I do tend to get some sauce. I like the mild sauce and the Parmesan garlic, most of the time, buffalo sauces of some kind are gonna be low carb. I have checked the website and the mild sauce and the Parmesan garlic sauce are both low enough carb for me. I do like to get the sauce on the side though. Then I can control how much sauce that I'm getting and I just dip the wings in. I don't have to like coat the whole wing in sauce to get that flavor. I could just dip a little bit of it in and I actually end up eating a lot less sauce than I would if they were already covered with it. Buffalo Wild Wings is the cleanest place to get wings. So it's where I go if my family's gonna eat out or if I'm in control of the decision of where I'm eating at a restaurant when I'm traveling. If I'm with a group though, and the group ends up at a place that has wings that are maybe fried in some sketchy oil, I personally don't stress about it that much. I'm gonna do my best to 100% avoid any sweet sauces. I still get the sauce on the side, um, but I'm not gonna stress out about like a bad oil that from a restaurant occasionally. Depending on your health though, you may have to make a different decision. In 2023, Buffalo Wild Wings did bring back their buy one, get one free wings on Tuesday. So anytime I'm traveling, I always set up Buffalo Wild Wings on a Tuesday because I can buy 10 wings and I actually get 20. Buffalo Wild Wings has an awesome points reward system, so I'm always getting free wings too, which is a plus. It makes me very loyal. When you order the sauce on the side, the wings typically have nothing on them, no salt, nothing. So this is wings, beef tallow, and then I'm actually gonna add my own salt. 
the salt packets that you get from the restaurant typically have dextrose and some other junky filler ingredients in it. So I always have my little Redmond seasoning packets. I put a little salt on it and then maybe when I get home, I'll dip it in some sauce. But for now, we're just going to enjoy a fresh, hot, crispy wing. Mmm. I feel like ordering the wing sauce on the side also leaves them crispier because they're not getting soggy, especially if you're taking them home. Mm. All right, there we go. There's my tips. Let me know if I missed anything. What are your favorites, your go-to ideas? Uh, I hope this video was helpful. If you want to see more content from me, you can come find me on Locals. We have a really awesome community there, people that are really supporting each other. And I hang out most of the time when I'm on social media. I'm hanging out on Locals. Thanks for watching.